What's going on, everybody? This is a segment from the Nerdgasm Talk podcast. If you like podcasts, well, why don't you come join us as the crew gets silly and Philly while we sit to talk about the latest in comics, games, movies, and all things pop culture. You guys can listen to our whole show on all the podcasts that's we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you guys get your podcasts from. And make sure you guys also support the channel by subscribing to the Nerd Coalition Studios. And for the gaming needs, make sure you subscribe to Nerd Coalition level up this is the nerd coalition hope you guys enjoyed the show and now feel the nerd there, there's just one thing i want to talk to talk talk to with lady sketch about um i don't know if y'all seen this on peacock or not but they just released renfield so i heard uh i heard uh tony baker did a review on it oh what did tony baker say that it was terrible <laughs> look so here's the thing, me and my me and my wife checked out Redfield because I was sitting there like, but, okay. okay, question, yeah, because since you are about to review it, and I will say this, is it terrible as in like trying to take yourself seriously, or is it terrible as in like it's just a bad movie and they know it and they playing into Templeton? Like, I don't know how he, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how to answer that for him. He okay. just said that. He didn't like the film. And it was for, bad. From the from the trailers, it seemed like they already knew it was going to be a corny movie, and they just lean into it. So okay, actually, I'll, I'll let you because uh, he was you, saying you, like he was saying like it's called like you the way they made it seem like it was going to be focused on Nick Cage's Dracula, but it was on Renfield. Oh, but it's yes. like oh, but it's called uh, Renfield. Okay, you know what? No, no, I, 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 I'll add back into that though. But Lacey, you were no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, my fault. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me he thought a movie named Renfield was not going to be about Renfield? It's a possibility. I, look, <laughs> I'm just asking the question. No, no. I, just I mean, like, it's a, well, okay. Look, I, I'm gonna get all into that. I, I just want Lacey just to give me her her thoughts on it first. I actually I did actually to watch it, and I want to hear your thoughts on it. Um, I actually enjoyed it only because I didn't like from the first few minutes, I was like, oh, this movie's not taking itself serious. So I'm not going to take it serious either. And it's kind of like if you go into it with that mindset, are you going to be like, this is one of my best movies of the year? Absolutely not. But might you have a good time with it if you have a sick sense of humor like I do? Sure. I mean, you you, you do got to have like a, a sick sense of humor in this movie. Like, has anybody seen Dracula Dead Loving It? No. No. Okay, so there was a movie back in the uh back in the nineties that um starred uh Leslie Nelson in it as Dracula, right? Mm-hmm. And it was it was a Dracula comedy. That's what this thing was. Uh and it was focused on Dracula and like I said, Dead Loving It. It, it was it was a hard comedy at the same amount of time. This is what this movie is trying to do, but doing it with Renfield instead. You know, Mel Brooks was the, was the director of Dracula, Dracula Dead, loving it. And me and my sister used to watch that movie all the time. It was so bad, it was it was so bad it was good type thing. This movie in the Renfield to answer your question is, it's bad, and they know it's bad, and they just they just dive into that because in the beginning the action is so over the top, the blood. Is so like over the top. It's so bad. Yeah, and it like half the time the blood ain't even the right color. Like you, you may think it's like black sportation blood. It's definitely it's definitely giving blood packets so, for real. Yeah. So so this is basically a movie for like stoners to watch and rewatch basically. Basically mm-hmm. and that's what it is and the thing is Honestly, now, honestly I ain't gonna lie. I would want to make all a good film as well as a bad film like this. Like I want to make a universally bad film like The Room because it's still popular, yeah. and I want to make a universally good film like so. It's like this: Nicolas Cage wanted to play this role so bad, like he got himself prepared for this. He's like, he he is having so much fun playing Dracula, so much mm-hmm. fun. Like that, there there are a lot of roles Nicolas Cage wants to play. It's like he's at the point in his career now. Is is it finally my time? And I'll do it. And that's what it was with Dracula. He got the makeup, full makeup in, and he is loving this role. This this, this movie is not meant to be taken seriously at all. It's it's so stupid. It, it, it really is a stupid movie where, where Renfield is going through 
like an abusive relationship and he's trying to get out of his abusive relationship with Dracula. That's it. There's no sequel. There's no, you know, post credit scene after that. If there is, I didn't see it. But that's what it is. And honestly, I, I understand what, what the double back what Key was saying, what Tony Baker was saying, it does feel like two two different movies. You got the Renfield story mm-hmm. and you got the Aquafina story. Yeah. And Aquafina oh, wait, wait, really wait, no wait, 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 is this the movie that Aquafina was rapping, or is that Little Mermaid? It had to be Little Mermaid because she wasn't she rapping. Wasn't in this rapping one. In this one. Okay, 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 okay. You know, this is like Nicholas Cage is at the point right now where he is just like, yo, I want to do these roles that I would, I, 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 when I was taking acting seriously, I would have did. Wow. But right now, I was, I, I I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking these roles because. He did um, what is it? He did face off, huh? He did face off. Yeah, but you know, face off was good though. Uh, not, not thanks to him. No, <laughs> okay. Uh, there. Um, uh, what was that? He just did a movie. Uh, oh my God! What he played himself? No, I'm not talking about that. Uh, I'm talking about it was a God. It was a horror movie. That I, 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 I really enjoy. Was it what was the fuck was that name? It was he was a he was a silent guy and there were all these like, you know, Five Nights at Freddy puppets that was attacking everybody in this shop, but then everybody was like, No, you're not allowed to hit with the puppets, you like to hit with him. And he was going around killing all these fucking puppets. He never said a word the whole movie. These are the kind of movies that he was doing. And I was just like, Bruh, this is this is this this is this is fucking fun. I I, I forgot I forgot what the hell, I keep thinking gunpowder milkshake in my head. That's not that's all the woman movie, but I forgot what it was. But uh, I was sitting there thinking like, oh, Willie's Wonderland. That came out twenty twenty one. Willie's Wonderland. He just sit there and say, that? huh? I said I never even heard of that. That's not like Hubie Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was better. It was better Hubie Halloween. But he was just there being a kick ass guy who didn't say shit. That's what this movie is. I want to play Dracula because I want to just do this right now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it all I got. And this movie's going to be dumb as hell. It's so dumb as good. Yeah. That's what it is. As well as it's so bad as good kind of things. It's no, it's by no means a good movie. But it is enjoyable for what it is. Yeah. If you just take it at face value, it's fine. Yeah, I, like, there's sometimes, like I, as soon as I watched I was like, Hey dear, this is your kind of comedy. This is your kind of violence because my wife likes that kind. Of, so the same thing I said with her about Cocaine Bear, I was just like, "Yo, you got to come see this shit. Like this shit's crazy." Yo, you see they talking about <laughs> crack coon? They tra- what? It's called crack coon. It's a crack coon. Rat- it's a raccoon on, now, on crack. Uh, like that. Uh, wow. That's not like something oh lord. It, 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 I mean, it probably is. I'm say, but now, but the, the thing about the cocaine bear was well, that's a true story. I mean, my, my, mine is what happened in the movie. But I'm saying, but I think they're doing a, I think they're doing a croc. Oh, crack croc? No, no, no. Oh, I know I'm they're doing. A, they're, well, they're doing a whole universe. Yeah, I know there's, a, a, I, yeah, I know there's an alligator. Yeah, or okay, a crocodile. Like and I saw the poster for crack coon. I don't know if that's real though, but it looked yeah. it looked legit. I don't know. I'm gonna say the this. alligator one is real. I'm not sure about the, the other one. The raccoon. Okay. I'm going to say this. Renfield is a catcher at a barbershop at best. But it's something that, you know, you kick back like, yo, ain't nothing on. If if you are smoking, that's fine. If you drink, that's fine. Watch it and just laugh at this shit. That's what it's supposed to be for. This shit is so, this shit is ridiculous. They, they, they do this stuff to make you laugh. I said, this stuff, this stuff looks so ridiculous. It and they so know. Bad. The blood is just like. I like, bro. Y'all could have did a little better job with this, but all right. Like I said, Aquafina is actually sufferable. Nicholas Holt is Nicholas Holt, and Nicholas Cage is having the most fun of his life playing Dracula. Yep. He's like, I missed the call in '92 for Braun Strokers Dracula. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna throw it out the park today. So yeah, I, I recommend. Like I said, just check it out. I, I know Tony Baker probably didn't see it because you know Tony Baker's a movie guy like like myself, but he, he's probably looking like you know. Maybe he ain't laugh. Or maybe he's he, looking he, at it through the eyes of like you know a movie critic kind of thing. As yeah. far as instead of like, it was, it was bad, but it was good. It's 
Yeah. It's a weird thing.